Welcome, welcome, welcome to story time with me, Miss Sheila. I hope you're having a wonderful and beautiful evening <laughs> because I'm out on August 1st and it gets the full moon and it's supposed to be the super moon. So I'm on my balcony and you see the moon right behind me. It's that light shining over there and there's a baseball game happening. So you're going to hear cheers and probably hits with the bass, um, with the baseball, sorry. And the story we're going to read is all about the sun and moon have a tea party. Isn't that cool? <laughs> Let's see what the sun and moon say. Let's do it by the light of the moon. On the late afternoon, the moon and the sun had a tea party. And see, there's the world below them. They're drinking their tea and they have some d desserts. You know, said the moon, what mamas and dads do, they get their children ready for bed. She took a sip of her tea. No, they don't, said son. Mamas and dads get their children ready for school. See, because they're seeing the opposites of the day. They're both right. No, not so, said Moon. Children have to go to sleep. Wrong, replied the son. Children have to go to school. Steaming up with their teas. They walk down bustling sidewalks and across busy streets. Streets aren't busy. They are as dark and as lonely as the moonless sky, said the moon. A moonless sky, oh no. No, no, no. Streets are filled with people, just like the sky is filled with birds. How can birds fly to fill the sky, said the moon, when they are always snuggled down in their nests? So during the day, at any time. How can birds snuggle down, said the sun, when they are flying over everything but us? That's interesting because the birds don't fly over the moon or the sun. That's true. Above rivers like mirrors and wildflowers that... Oh, hello in the wind. Rivers can only reflect my face, said Moon. There he's looking at himself or herself. And they can reflect mine too, said the sun. So pretty. And tonight the moon was actually orange at the beginning of the evening. I'm right and you're wrong, said Moon. Putting down her cup. No, I'm right and you're wrong, said Sun. Putting down his cookie. Just then, clouds drifted by. What are you two arguing about, he asked. And so they explained. Moon, you are right, said Cloud. And Sun, you are right too. You must each stay up past your bedtime and you'll see. <laughs> Early the next morning, Sleepy Moon rubbed her eyes and hid behind Cloud. This is what she saw. Moms and dads pouring cereal and putting on coats, dogs chasing their tails, and trees standing guard in green uniforms. Moon explained, how beautiful. Even the morning glories are saying good morning. We've seen the flowers down there. Here. All day long, the world was abuzz with activity. Yep. As dusk fell, sleepy sun rubbed his eyes and hid behind the cloud. This is what he saw. Moms and dads tucking in blankets and reading stories. Dogs sweetly dreaming and trees standing guard in gray pajamas. Who would have guessed, sun exclaimed. Even the morning glories are fast asleep. Yep, see, they were asleep in the evening. I mean, they were awake in the morning, and now look at they're sleeping at night time. See, it's different points of views that they're seeing it from. All night long, the world was still. The following day, sun thought of moon. 
and the following night, Moon got a sun. And the world below, and, and in the world below, everything. On in their light. True, everything shines in the light of the moon and in the sun. We are blessed. Wasn't that a cool story? And we did it on the full moon, like the super moon it was called tonight. But I hope you so enjoyed that, and I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful sleep. Until next time with me, Mitchell. Keep shining your light bright. Bye for now.